Tips on how to survive a stray dog attack. In a serene park with people walking their dogs, kids playing, and families having a picnic. Suddenly, a dog lunges at a young boy, causing chaos and panic. In such a situation, what will you do? Will you run? Will you fight? Will you try to fit something in its mouth? Not a bad option at all. Give the dog something else instead of human flesh, blood or bone. Dog attacks can happen at any moment. Whether you're out for a casual stroll in the park or walking your furry friend on a sunny day, it's crucial to know the right steps to take to protect yourself and those around you. This video provides you with some expert tips on how to keep yourself safe. Or the best thing to do when you are attacked by a dog. Who can a dog attack? Strollers. Cyclists. Joggers. Pedestrians. And other passers-by. It is important to note that dogs react to just all forms of movements. And by nature they are quick to consider some areas theirs. Venturing into such areas is likely to cause them to be aggressive resulting in an attack. What then should you do if it attacks you? Part 1. Try to avoid the attack if you can. Tip number 1. Don't panic, gauge the dog's personality. The popular belief is that dogs can easily sense human fear. Each time you demonstrate fear, you only make the dog more confident and make yourself its prey. The tip here is for you to always stay calm and act tough. When you don't feel scared, the dog may think you are a dangerous person to mess with. Tip number two, don't try to run. There is just no need to run because dogs can run faster than humans. So, they will catch up with you in a matter of seconds. If you try to run, you will only provoke the dog to chase you. Running may just put you into problems even if the dog never planned to hurt you. Tip number three, stand still. If you started running and noticed the dog was chasing you, slow down to walk and eventually stop completely. By doing this you automatically eliminate the threat that you posed while you were running. Chances are the dog will lose interest in you and walk away when you stop running and stand still. You can also make yourself a lesser threat if you stand sideways to the dog. Standing sideways makes you slimers and smaller. Remember to avoid any eye contact as any direct eye contact will only make the dog aggressive. But at the same time, keep the dog in sight. This way the dog will consider you harmless and will let you go scot-free. Tip number four, make fists and present it to the dog when you notice the dog is desperately looking to bite. Most dogs will readily go for the arm when they decide to bite. This helps your fingers from being bitten off by the dog. The result of this is less damage suffered. Tip number five, distract the dog by giving it another object to bite instead of your body. Throw whatever you have in you or in another direction. This can be a water bottle, a backpack, handbag, umbrella, etc. If you don't have anything in your hand, pick up anything you find on the ground and throw it away. If the dog was a friendly one, it would enjoy playing by running after the thrown object. This way you get ample time to move away from the scene of attack. It is important to note that not every dog that attacks you is looking to tear you apart. Tip number six, command the dog in a firm voice to go away. When doing this you must sound confident and look strong. Sounding weak and less confident only puts you into great danger. Part two. What if avoiding the attack becomes impossible? Tip number seven, defending yourself by going for the bite. After all your efforts to back down the dog have failed, you are only left with the option of fighting back. The best thing to do will be to go for the fight by attacking the dog in the nose, the throat, or the back. This may weaken it and give you time and space to escape. Tip number eight, shout out for help. Considering that some dog species can be very dangerous and even deadly, it is important to cry out for help for any passers-by. The more the number of people fighting the dog, the weaker it becomes. Tip number nine, go for the bite. Once the dog has gripped your forearm, there is no need to kick, punch, or yell at it in order to free yourself. Doing this only makes you more of a threat and provokes the dog to keep biting different parts. Therefore, if you can stay put and endure the bite, 
it will minimize the number of times you get bitten and the number of holes your body would have incurred from the same attack. Tip number 10, attack the dog's choke points or pain points. To get a dog off a bite, you must choke the dog off. If the dog has a chain or collar on, use it to twist the dog's neck to stifle breathing. While doing this, use your weight to press the dog to the ground. When the dog can't breathe, it will let you otherwise it will pass out. Tip number 11, protect your face and neck. Prevent the dog from getting to your vital parts if you intend to continue protecting yourself. Remember to try to put something between yourself and the dog. In any case, the dog's only weapon is its mouth full of teeth. Try to immobilize the dog's head by pressing its neck. Once you can stop it from using its mouth, you will be safe from the attack. If you can keep safe, then you will come out victorious. Part 3. What happens after you survive the attack? Tip number 12, wash the wounds with some clean water. Tip number 13, see your doctor. Tip number 14, all wounds must be attended to immediately to avoid further infections. Tip number 15, it is important to get some anti-rabies. Tip number 16, make sure you report the dog to a competent authority. If you tell them about the incident and recount everything that happened, they will take action that can save someone else's life. Please share your experiences on dog attacks in the comment section of this video. Remember to share this video with your friends and relations. You may be saving someone's life. Please like and share. See you in our next video.